Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom gradient. First you will need some kind of shape. You can use any of these ready shapes or you can draw your own. I'm going to use a shape of a ribbon I drew before. Let's get rid of the stroke and leave the fill white. Now you will need to open the gradient panel. Go to Window and select Gradient. Let's move this window to the side panel. Now go to Swatches. Click on the red color, hold and drag it to the gradient slider. Now let's duplicate this red color. Click on the red color box, hold, then pressing down the Alt key, move it to the center to make a copy and release the mouse. Let's get rid of the white color, just click on it, hold and drag it down. Now double click on this color box and let's make this color darker. And copy it to the other side. Let's move this shape up and make a copy. Now we will design a different gradient. We will mix light and dark shades of red. Let's move the center color slider to the left. Now click on this color and let's duplicate it. And let's copy the light color. And make several more copies. If you want to adjust any of the colors, just double click on the color box and adjust it. Let's duplicate this shape and we will design one more gradient. This time we will mix two shades of green. Double click on the first color box and change the color to dark green. Now let's delete all the red color boxes. Just click, hold and drag it down. Now duplicate this color box. Double click on it and change the color to light green. Let's get rid of this color box. And let's make several copies of these two shades. If you would like to space the color boxes equally, you will need to use the Location option. I want these three color boxes equally spaced in the middle. To do that, I will set the first color box location to 25%, the second one to 50% and the third one to 75%. Now, if you would like to save your gradient into the swatches panel, first select the gradient you want to save, then click on the new swatch icon, name it whatever you want and click OK. And your new swatch should appear in the swatches panel. And do the same with the other swatches. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.